witness, to see and hear, to know and testify. The Bible is filled with the testimony of countless witnesses. Moses, who saw God's power in the burning bush. Isaiah, who heard God's call to witness and responded, Here I am, send me. John, who knew Jesus and was sent to testify to the one true light. Witness. Are you a witness? Will you testify? Or do you hunger for more assurance?
The shouts of the jubilant witnesses in Jerusalem were heard as battle cries by the religious leaders. Always critical of Jesus, they viewed him as their enemy and now plotted to kill him. Judas Iscariot was one of the twelve chosen witnesses whom Jesus had first called into discipleship. But now even Judas joined the plot to kill Jesus, agreeing to betray him in exchange for thirty pieces of silver. The religious leaders arrested Jesus and led him to the high priest, Caiaphas. Many false witnesses came forward, but their testimonies did not agree. Jesus remained silent throughout the proceedings. Finally, Caiaphas spoke, spoke to him. Why do you say nothing to these testimonies? Are you the Christ, the Son of God? Finally, Jesus spoke. I am, and soon you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power of God and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then Caiaphas tore his clothes and exclaimed to the crowd, We have no further need of witnesses. You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? And the crowd condemned Jesus to death. shouted, 
If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross and save yourself. Some of Jesus' followers stood by the cross in silent witness to his sacrifice. Among them were Mary, the mother of Jesus, Mary's sister, Mary Magdalene, and Joseph of Arimathea. From noon until three o'clock, darkness fell over all of the land. Then the sun itself was darkened, and the veil of the temple was split in two. A great earthquake split the rocks, and the bodies of many saints were raised to life. Jesus cried out in a loud voice and breathed his last. A centurion also had been standing by the cross in witness to all of these events. As Jesus died, he spoke this great truth. Surely, this was God's Son.
placed in a tomb. When the women went to visit on the morning of the third day, they were astonished to find that the stone had been rolled away, and his body was gone. Then an angel appeared to them, saying, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Jesus is not here. He is risen as he said. The women ran to tell the disciples the great news. At first the disciples did not believe their witness. Then Peter ran, and seeing the empty tomb for himself, marveled at what had happened. Hallelujah. Christ is risen indeed. Blood. 
By faith you've seen and heard it. By faith you've known it through this testimony. Who will stand with us? Will you be a witness? I will be a witness. 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 Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of living witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, he has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. This we believe. Let our faith be our witness.